Pittsburgh Steelers running back Najee Harris is once again getting ripped apart by the NFL media for his lack of production and lack of burst. And this time is by a guy named Greg Cosell. In case you don't know who he is, he's an NFL analyst and a senior producer at NFL Films. And also, he's a film guru who's well known by NFL insiders for his football knowledge. So, in case you don't know what he said, here's the full quote. I think Najee Harris is kind of pedestrian NFL back. He's big, he's powerful, but he doesn't have any juice. We know he can carry the ball a lot. The question becomes production. You can give him volume. Can he be the guy that keeps you your offense on schedule and stays ahead of the sticks? I still think that's an open question. So, I don't know where he's been. I don't know if he's been watching the Steelers games the last two seasons. Yes, this season, at the beginning of the season, Najee Harris looked awful. But the second half of this season and the whole rookie season for Najee Harris, he was the Steelers' whole offense. The reason why the Steelers' offense started picking up after the bye week was because Najee Harris flipped a switch. Najee Harris was dealing with a frame stick injury on his foot at the beginning of the season, but once he was healthy from that, he switched to another gear, and he's the reason why the Steelers' offense looked so good. He's the reason why the Steelers started scoring more points. The Steelers started giving him and Jalen Warren the ball more, and that's when the Steelers' offense started to pick up. Last season, he was the guy for the Steelers. Last season, Ben Rosberg, whenever he needed an outlet, he would just dump it off to Najee Harris, and he would make something out of nothing. Whenever the Steelers needed a big play from him, either passing game or running the ball, he was able to jump over the line, get the touchdown, or his break off so many tackles to get the first down. What people don't realize is Najee Harris was thrown in the worst situation possible. Najee Harris was drafted into a tough situation. Terrible offensive line, terrible offensive coordinator. But you put him in a line that's dominant and he would become a monster. And also, Najee Harris. It's not like his production is bad. This is his second straight season of getting over a thousand yards running the ball. And also, last season, he had 74 receptions for 167 yards. This season, he had 41 receptions for 229 yards. That's a lot of yards and a lot of production from a running back that apparently doesn't put up production. Yes, there could be questions about his burst and his open field running for 50 plus yard gains. He's not that kind of back. He's the kind of back that dominates you slowly up the field and wears a defense out. He's the type of back where you give the ball high volume and he'll get better as the game goes along. He's a guy where if you need a play and you need someone to get two yards, he's going to do that for you. He's going to break off as many tackles as needed to get those yards. And you've already seen that. He's one of the best in the league at breaking tackles. You've seen how many times last year and this year he gets hit behind the line of scrimmage because his offensive line cannot run block, but he's able to make yardage out of nothing. He's able to stay out in the backfield. Yes, there's times where he gets taken down in the backfield because sometimes there's just nothing you could do about it. But most of the time, if he is hit in the backfield, he will still be able to break away and get yards and get something out of nothing. So... Obviously, Gray Coswell has no idea, or he just hasn't watched the Steelers games. So, let me know down in the comments below. How do you feel about Najee Harris? And do you believe that he could still be the Steelers' top running back for the coming years? Do you like the draft pick, the first round draft pick that the Steelers spent on him two years ago? Or do you wish they would have went a different direction? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you like Steelers content analysis reports. Like the video. Turn on notifications down below for this channel as well, so you get notified whenever I post the next series video. And I'll see you guys all later. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.